this show started. My name's Sunny Las Vegas. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to subscribe. Quite a bit of stuff to share with you that I got from thrift stores, some comments along the way. One is the minimum requirement though. Anything more than that is a bonus and I appreciate your time. Now to get started. I haven't come across too much shoes worth getting before, say two years ago, they were plenty. The whole shoe department type, shoes, boots, dress shoes, slippers, chanclas. I was finding them everywhere, left and right. And now it's like very rare because people are learning and they're also trying to bargain shop. It's not just resellers out there. I did pay $6 and I feel it should be an easy turnaround. It's a little dusty on these shoes, but they are in excellent condition. And with a little hand wash or scrub or rinse off, these are gonna be looking in tip top shape maybe 25 to 30 bucks i know for six dollars you might be thinking like hell no i'll get i'll get them cheaper for the bins you're not always going to come across things at the bins that easy like that and find the same pair of shoes not to say that it's not possible i'm just saying that you have to work with what's around you and for me i'm making the best of what i can and what i'm doing is work the next item i got for you stood out to me for two reasons first the color block the gray and the black and then on the tongue on here i'm not going to tell you whose name or brand this belongs to you can in the comments wash these off because there are a little bit of like blemishes on here but it's going to be an easy clean these were 15 dollars. this one right here reminded me of when i live out in hawaii even though we didn't have the place that matched things like this we had a little side house rental and i was buying horses like this at hallmark i was buying them for like 15 bucks they're really nice and again they didn't match my living condition <laughs> it was pretty much not the ghetto but i was near there and i was buying them up and i even got them shipped here to the ninth island where i am now when i started reselling not until months later i found them in my closet stored up in boxes and i said i'm gonna sell these because my wife hates them i don't have no need for them i just wanted to get something that made me feel like i was of value in some way shape or form they all sold for like 40 60 dollars the ones i had were very collectible and they were brand new in box this one is not a brand new in box but it is in wonderful condition a little horse on here you don't have to feed it water it they say you could lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink or you could lead a reseller to a horse and sell it for a pretty penny this one costed me um it was half price eight dollars so four dollars it even has a sticker on here of all the information because some of them can sell up to like a hundred dollars people were looking at this and passing it up it's a sony atrax walkman cd it's a very unique thing i paid seven dollars for this it has everything in here i did charge it while i was in goodwill full, even though they're like in a tightest corner that you could possibly put something like that and every time i tend to want to plug something in and test it out everybody and their grandma neighbors roommate daughters friends college t-shirt kindergarten lunch ladies are there with this charger is the thing that's messed up three volt ac power adapter sony okay so i'll look this up but this stuff it's crumbling, I'm falling apart. Times, so hopefully somebody has one for really, really cheap and I'm gonna buy it and add it to this. I've done that with several things to help me. Has the original earpiece. Look at that plug right there. Here's the charging port. Here's the A-Track CD player, which is crazy name. I'm, I'm guessing this came out like when the iP iPods, iPad, yeah, iPods came out. That was so easy. Oh, how did I do this last time? This is why I'm having trouble having babies, people. So right here, it just slides right in. For a moment before I realized that charger was messed up, I started hearing a little cracking when I plugged in the charger along with the CD player. Saw a little light come on and then I started hearing a little sizzle. So immediately I pulled out the charger. Didn't want to burn the whole place down. I'm getting a message for a Eddie Bauer goose down vest. So hopefully they buy it because they messaged me earlier saying, hey, if I buy it, can you send it off tomorrow? I said, absolutely. I'll send it off first thing in the morning, which I will. This might be one of those gems that ends up getting me around $150 or more three bucks slash that and half dollar fifty and these are going to be brand new dyson pure humidify cool so i've seen these kind of all over the pumps from nine dollars to thirty dollars so i'm going to put mine at thirty dollars with four dollars shipping it's the second time i picked up a guitar hero guitar first one i got maybe about two months ago from savers i went on a sunday the day before monday which monday is known here for savers to be everything half price besides like maybe a red tag or some weird color first one i got for four dollars and it sold for a hundred and forty dollars to somebody with zero feedback 
and it's already been over a month. So I'm so grateful and thankful and optimistic that there are good buyers out there even with no reviews on their end. So this one I got for $7. It'll probably sell for around $30. There is some wear on here which does make difference, but sometimes people slap stickers of their own on there. What I like about this guitar is that there is a lever back here that could break it down rather than <coughs> rather than some of them that need to be unscrewed i'm not comfortable doing it but this one i am comfortable doing it very easy to pull off and on if i put it the right way sunny bono oh it was the right way so here we go everything's good on here the whammy everything nice tension on there this is a red octane number 954 all right brand new sealed unopened i wonder what voice people hear when they read people's descriptions have price on here a universal remote for four buckaroos two jeans cinch up jeans these have different labels and this is what very familiar to me and it stands out on the inside they usually have something like this now the labels could be gray like this one is i believe white and then there is a darker gray there might even be a red there's a few of them i paid ten dollars for prices for jeans are starting to go up i used to get them for around four bucks then it was seven a couple of months ago and now i'm seeing that they're like 10 and 14 i didn't just find one i found two of them this one doesn't have the tag like the other one did to claim it as brand new with tags so this one's gonna be brand new it's just a very good quality brand name <laughs> this one i was like is that to me more because i thought it was for a second open this up so i looked up the comp scanned the barcode right here and saw that even though there was one that sold for 140 dollars it's in the same condition that this one is pre-owned used very easy port it's such a big box for this right here it does have a good weight easily fit inside a padded flat rate envelope gillette venus silk expert which is you because you're the one that's using that intense post light ipl hair removal assist powered by bra I do have another channel that i'm working on to share people's stories and it's called powwow powwow podcast is going to be entirely that talking to others it's not going to be live drafts those are continue to stay here on this channel but i do want to start bringing in people that i'm very intrigued by and come across that are resellers entrepreneurs and similar like-minded like us so if you haven't already partaked in some live chats or live streams i would say get into it because it's a great way to learn other resellers and see that you're not the only one that may be facing the struggles you have find the answers that you need to get you over that hump quality condition a little dusty on here but it's going to be very easy to clean I remember as a kid using shaving cream. This is a Demarini glove, softball, really nice condition. Little dusty, but I might end up doing it old school by, by slapping some shaving cream on here. Do I have shaving cream? Because I really don't grow facial hair. I might have some that's like a decade old. This is two months of not shaving. It's either a good thing or, or a bad thing. You let me know. It'd be a pretty good uh, sell. I did buy this for six doll hairs got a jerseys single stitch track and field southern section championship g is that cif or gif toyota i originally thought this was like a michael jordan tee because it kind of looked like them and then i looked into it and i was like why would it have toyota it doesn't make sense to me and then i noticed that there was a little hurdle that they were jumping over i was like hmm that's cool then i saw that it was single stitch all the way around three more items to share with you this is going to be a brand that i love reselling barbell it's going to be here in vegas a local brand and their stuff seems to sell very very well i've come across t-shirts hoodies and jackets and got it for seven dollars and i think it might sell for around thirty dollars so this is going to be a bigger size jeans i'm not right there i don't even have to put it any closer you can tell what it is good brand big size 50 by 30 this is probably like the the widest waist um, jeans that I come across, but really good condition. So how, how should we do this? We're gonna do something special for this one. I gotta get undressed for this one for a split second. This one I got for, let, let me do the walk up on this one because I like this jacket. Paid 13 bucks for this. Ooh, damn. Oh, makes me feel like I'm buff. Check out this jacket right here. This is an amazing timepiece. It is vintage. Ooh, you like it, Tim? Oh, I can barely put my arms close enough to hold you. What's up, Tip? Are you all right? You want to be a part of the show? Yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. No, don't lick me. I know you just licked yourself. It does have like that savor scent to it when you walk in for the first time you're like whoa what is that smell i'm gonna take it off now because it was suffocating my awesomeness body Woo. 
So this is gonna be a vintage jacket worn of California size 44. It's like a size, I would say large. So Wade Brown on here. Got the Sherpa on the insides. Not sure if it's real wool because the tag is missing for it. For just vest alone for the Warren of California brand. So for like around 40 bucks. I have not seen any cop or a jacket as amazing as this one for the brand name. Make sure to check out more of my videos if you haven't watched already in the playlist and stay tuned for my new channel, Pow Wow Podcast, where I introduce more people who are like-minded like yourself and me that I'm intrigued about and want to share their story for people to see what I see. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and you know what to do with that. You dirty.